Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Okami. Last time we began racing Ida, and always oh, dropping bombs! Not bombs, like sea urchins, where you get those? Probably from the ocean right next to the Shinchu field. Okay, yep. He totally ran away. What a jerk. Okay, um, that's how bad I am at this, apparently. Hey, Ida, wanna race? I want your gizmo gear so I can go into the Ark of Yamato soon. <laughs> because that's like the only side quest that I really have on my agenda. Maybe I'll go get that demon gate down there. Is that sushi on your thing? That's cool. Um, on your pack? That's cool. But, uh, yeah, how do I not get hit by those? That's crazy. Um, ah, he's running off cliffs. What is this guy doing? This guy obviously thinks he's super amazing, which he kind of is. He's... You're skipping the entire pathway. Get over here. I have to, like, tackle you from the side, dude. No! You threw that right in my face. That's rude. Do you know what politeness is? Oh, my goodness. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Get over here! Ah, Ida... I don't want to race you, just give me the gizmo gear. We can be friends. Like, we can hang out on weekends and eat chips in front of the movies and stuff. We can be buddies. Don't mess with me. I'm Amaterasu. I'm a god, dang it. Give me your gizmo gear. Don't deny me this. I, I was right up in his face. You saw that, guys. I totally deserve that gizmo gear right there. Um. Oh my gosh. Give me the gear. This is like an epic chase scene here. Not that epic. Like an almost epic chase scene. That's how epic it is. Almost epic. Ugh. Oh, I got him. Yes. Oh, phew. You caught up with me again. Sure, a fast pooch. A top sprinter. You got two victories under your belt now. Now. Ha ha ha. 30 braids. Blah, blah, blah. Oh my gosh, Ida. Come back, please. And actually, it's probably three races. You're four ledge carry, you like the win. Gonna polish up and let's wait a day because that's how long it took last time. Oh, I forgot to point out. Um, notice how the sky is gray even though it's daytime. That's because it's the day of darkness and it's always going to be dark now from like a certain point. I think maybe from when the day of darkness started. But it's going to be the day of darkness for the rest of the game now, I think. Or until we save the game from the Archeyamato. But, but I don't think we can play at daytime now. Or at, when it's all sunny out. Which is kind of sad. I liked it when it was sunny. But the game's still fun. It's just dark out now. It's like nighttime. It's, all, it's like almost nighttime. It's like dusk. That's almost nighttime, isn't it? Whatever. Let's talk to Ida. Aha! There you are. Listen, Pooch. I need to talk to you. I, Lightning Ida, want to challenge you. I want to take back the title of Shinshu's number one once and for all. You've totally outclassed me up to now. But I'm not going to rush starting up your tail wagging anymore, pal. I'm in I can't talk. Ugh. Bleh. And just to show you how serious I am this time, I'm putting up my family treasure, the gimmick gear at my, sa at my stake. Oh, I thought it was the gizmo gear. Okay, the gimmick gear. I still remember it, that night of a thousand shooting stars. One of them just fell right off the sky into my lap. That was the gimmick gear. That seal cogwheel just dropped down right in front of me. It couldn't have been an accident. The gods must have planned it. They were telling me to keep running for the rest of my life. So I won't get hit by falling gears. To keep delivering my mail as fast as I possibly could. I live for my job, and that gear's my good luck charm. And I'm putting my faith in it now. I know it'll help me win. So... Time we got the show on the road, right? Come on, then. Yes, Ida's finally gonna give us his gimmick gear if we win. Ready? Go! Okay, let's go. That's not sushi on his pack. Why'd I say it was sushi? That's mail or something. It's a box, I think. And wow, he's... Is he... Did he get faster? Or is he... Like, I know he's dropping his sea urchins, but did he get faster or something? Because he seems a lot faster. He's, like, scary fast. Oh, oh, I thought I got you there, dude. I totally thought I got you. 
Ow, don't hurt me. Where are you going? Why are you going to Dojo Man? You think he's going to help you out? No way. He's busy being crazy with his spinny head. Ah, uh, come back. I want to... I told you we could hang out on weekends. Eat... I said we could eat chips. Like, you know... Crunchy ones! Get over here! Ah, come on! We could watch TV! Be best buds! Ida! Ah, uh, stop running. Uh, I know you're afraid of getting hit by gears, but that doesn't normally happen to people, dude. Just... Oh, I, that was a perfect time to get him. There we go, we got him. We win. What? No way! Lightning Ida of the Dongan Express. Beaten in the greatest and most most important match of my life. <laughs> you haven't just scored a point off me this time. That's gotta be worth a million points. <laughs> well, a promise is a promise, Pooch. My lucky charm's yours. It should always belong to the number one sprinter in Shinshu. You obtained gimmick gear. My little brother from Ryoshima said he'd seen an amazing wolf. Guess you must have made a name for yourself over there too, huh? Well, you're the fastest creature I've ever met, that's for sure. I guess the gods won't mind if I'm relinquishing the title of Shinshu number one to you. But it's an important title, so make sure you honor it, okay? I'm gonna keep on running and running and running, and one day I'll take the title back from you. You'll see if I ever talk to you again. <laughs> 50 praise, blah blah blah. Yes, we got the gimmick gear. It does stuff. Well, we don't really know what it does right now. I do. Because I do. But, uh, we're actually gonna go to Ryoshima Coast in a bit. Actually, you know what we're gonna do? We're totally gonna go and own the crap out of this demon gate. This devil gate. Oh, and oh my gosh! Sorry if you heard me smack my, uh, headphone. But, uh, wow, I killed him in one hit. I... <laughs> I'm like a pro! Look at me, I'm kicking butt! Wow, I just like... Do you see how I own the crap out of everyone there? Wow. Sorry, sir. Oh, jeez, wow. Don't bleed all over the floor. Goodness. Oh my gosh, I'm awesome. <laughs> Look at how I owned everyone, wow. Yep, that's a perfect, alright. But yeah, I just remembered, this, uh, this brush technique that I want to get, that's not the last thing I want to do. Oh wow, looky there, those are furnaces and stuff. I actually want I want to show you a Devil Gate trial. That's another thing we can do in Ryoshima Coast, actually. Um, I really want to show you a Devil Gate trial just to show you how amazingly crazy they are. And I think that'll be like an episode in its own. But they're crazy. Like they give you like the hardest enemies in the like they give you like enemies. I mean I believe we we see imps there sometimes. Like, we might see imps, but these are not your ordinary imps. These are like imps that have been jacked up to the max. They're like crazy imps. They are crazy. And why was I hitting a wall of lag? Wow. Okay. But like, these imps are insane. It's not just imps, too. I believe you fight wakas and like, rows. It's just weird. It's a great fight, though. And, oh, I didn't realize I was saving. Wow, okay. Oh, and actually, those kiln over those kilns over there. I believe if you talk to Nameless Man, he has a side quest for you, and he actually wants you to take little flower pots to all those little shrines around the Shinchu Shinchu field. And I'm pretty sure you get a stray bead from doing that too. So I thought I'd tell you about that in case you were interested. Interested? I've never done that side quest myself. I don't know where all of the little shrines are. Oh my goodness! Stop burping. And actually, like, like you know out where the moon cave used to be? If you try to go out there, there's actually, it's not there anymore. There's actually a little island, and it's kind of cool, because on that little island, it's a little shrine. And th I always thought that was kind of cool. But anyway, let's go to Seon City. Can I go to Seon City? No, apparently. <laughs> there is not a super origin mirror in Seon City. What's the rocky area? I'm confused. Um, oh, wow. Why am I being so confused right now? Let's go to the rocky area, sure. Um, we actually need to go to Seon City, because that's where we can get a brush technique. Cool, right? 
And after we get that brush technique, I think if we... I think we have that. Devil Gate Trials, and... Where is this? What the... What? <laughs> I had no idea about this. Okay, Stray Bead. Where is this? Wow, okay. Yeah, Stray Bead and a couple of Clovers. I didn't know about that. That's cool. I totally didn't know about that, guys. You'll learn new things every day. But yeah, I think we have like that new that new brush technique thing, a Devil Gate trial, and then I believe we can go the Arca Yamato. That will be cool. Um, where are we? Oh yeah, this part. Whoa. Okay, there's treasure chests underwater. That's interesting. But yeah, let's go to the city, Seon City, if I can get there. Give me my <laughs> my lily pad, and uh, let's run there. Man, I didn't know those clovers were up there and stuff. That's new. Let's let's get running. Hey, we're like Ida. Except we don't throw little sea urchins behind us, and like we're not mailmen, like that are, uh, we're not like super mailmen. So, yeah. I want. I wonder, like, by that gear falling out of the sky into his lap, or it, near him, or where wherever it fell, if that's what convinced him to start running, it, is he afraid of being hit by more gears? I mean, that's. I think that's the most logical thing you could expect. Or else, like, he just thought of it as a sign. But if that happened to me, I would be terrified. I, well, maybe not so terrified that I would run for the rest of my life. But, um, I would be a bit faster because I would not want a gear to come out of the sky and brutally wound me. That would be creepy. And we're here, back in Seon City. Wow, it looks really pretty here, even at the Day of Darkness. I mean, it seems everything's purple-tinted. That's just really pretty. Wow. This game is just amazingly gorgeous. Well, as we run to the next part of Riyashima Coast, actually, I might have something to say up here. If we get to the other, the other side and those people are still standing there, I'm, go I'm gonna freak out on... Oh my gosh. You're still there. I'm almost done with the game. <laughs> and you're still hanging out waiting for a row. And we even... I think they even know that Rao's not there anymore. You guys really, really like standing there. Wow. Okay. Let's tell a story. Story time again. Mm, I think I'll tell the story about the smelly kneecaps. Um, yeah, weird name. But, like, there was a year, like, where at school and stuff, like, it was just so weird. The Like, for most of the year... My kneecaps had the weirdest smell. It was just my kneecaps. You could sniff the kneecaps and be like, These kneecaps smell horrendously weird. I mean, they weren't disgusting, but they just were smelly kneecaps. And I know this is a really weird story, but I thought, This is a kind of a cool story to tell. I don't know if it's kind of cool to you, but I thought it was kind of funny, and I'm like, Like, this... And kind of funny is in, like, that's weird. Because it's totally about kneecaps and my kneecap issues. I don't even have kneecap issues. They were just stinky kneecaps. Like, have you ever had a stinky kneecap? I mean, I'm not sure if you had a stinky kneecap recently. But though that was a weird year. It was so confusing. I was just like, what are my kneecaps doing? Why do they smell? Anyway, we're up here in the clock tower thing. And this is actually where we can get rid of our gimmick gear. I meant to say deposit, yeah. Way to go with talking. Anyway, this guy's name is Gen. He's He looks like a dog. Is he a dog or is he just really hairy? <sighs> My masterpiece is but one step away from completion. All I need is the final part. My invention would dramatically improve people's lives. I... It is the greatest test of my talents thus far. I think he's just really hairy. Contraption maker. Again. I know not how... I know not how you made it all the way up here, Snowflake. It is unusual for me to have visitors. But your timing could not be better. I needed a break. 
Would you like to hear the new scientific theory I'm advocating? Uh, uh, no thanks. We're not really into that kind of stuff. No, wait! We could talk about something else. Well guys, I think we'll talk about something else in the next episode of Let's Play Okami. Bye guys.